Okay, so our first stop was this Valley Village on the way to Quebec. This was in Kingston. I found this skirt. I didn't end up taking it um, just because I didn't really know how you would style this, but I liked the colors and it was cute. It's kind of giving like, like Winx Club? I don't know. Kind of giving Polly Pocket. Yeah, Polly Pocket more than Winx Club. And then this skirt I didn't take because it's kind of ugly. <laughs> just saw a lady last night then i found this really cute black and red like floral 90s midi skirt i didn't take this just because it was kind of expensive and i just didn't think it was really worth it this was the tag it was from cleo petites i found a few like cute little cami tops i didn't end up taking these but I don't know. I don't know why. I think I've just been a little bit pickier lately of what I've been taking. I did take this 100% silk like tube top. Um, it ended up selling at Good Friends Market and the girl who bought it, it looked so, so good on her. So I'm glad it went to a new... I also took this top. I'm kind of regretting it though because it's like kind of ugly now that I'm looking at it. Overall, not a great trip, but we still have all of Montreal to explore. We have entered Quebec. Mom is getting gas. I'm gonna hit a value village that's like 30 minutes from where we are right now. Okay, first up I found this little Y2K mini dress. This was tagged in the short sleeve knits, but it's definitely more of a mini dress, so. Then I found this like early slash mid 2000s H&M floral cami. I love the shade of purple on this one and the bow detailing was so cute. I love it. I kind of regret getting this because I'm looking at it now and I don't love it. Um. But I don't know, what do we think? I really like this brand. It's from Yahoo Jeans. They usually slay, but I don't know if I like this that much, to be honest. I thought this top was so unique. I love the print and like the letter detailing and the bottom was kind of asymmetrical too. I feel like this could be styled in a really cool way. I also kind of regret getting this one as well. The thrift goggles are real. I feel like it'll look good on though. So we'll see. I feel like the ruching can be really flattering. This black and white floral top I thought was so cute. I love Le Chateau. They are such a good brand to look out for. And the sash at the side was just chef's kiss. You could put it in a bow. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't end up taking this like ruche two top because I, it just wasn't giving the wow factor for me. TBH. And I already have one that I liked better. So I left this one behind. Okay, this one I'm so sad about because I ended up buying it thinking it was an off the shoulder top. And when I brought it home and tried it on, it wasn't. So, and it didn't really look good on. So I'm thinking I'll just redonate it, which I'm so sad about because it's so pretty. Okay, then I found this like red and black lace corset. I didn't end up taking this one because I just didn't love it. And I feel like I could do better. So, and I think it was expensive. So I didn't take it. <laughs> I did, however, take this mesh two piece PJ set. I'm really hoping this fits me because I've been looking for more matching PJ sets and this one's so pretty and lightweight for the summer, which I really like because I get hot when I sleep. Also found this like pretty little 90s Y2K Jessica floral midi dress. I go absolutely feral for anything with an asymmetrical hemline. So you know I had to take this one. You know I had to take this one home. Then I found this Brandy Melville dress, but it was broken at the like tie area, so I had to leave it behind. We made it. I'm currently in the bathroom right now. It's a Sunday. Or if you can hear the fan, but I'm about to do my makeup and we're gonna go to a cafe that's like two doors down from our Airbnb. And we're gonna go to Value Village, a couple of Value Villages, so let's go. I'm gonna do my makeup off camera because I don't really want to waste the battery and there's not really anywhere to like pop my camera because I forgot my tripod so let's go thrifting. Makeup is done. I'm just gonna change my outfit and then 
we're gonna walk over to the cafe. I don't really know what I'm gonna wear. Is it still cold, but like it's gonna get warmer throughout the day? I think the high is gonna be like 11, which is still cold, but like warmer than what the weather has been, at least in Ontario. So I'm gonna change my outfit and we're gonna go. Okay, so first up, I hit the tricot à manche côte, which is the short sleeve knits. Hopefully I pronounced that right. If you're French, I'm sorry. And I found this white lace top. Then I found this mesh floral short sleeve top. I didn't end up taking this and I'm kind of regretting it because I love the colors in it. I found these really pretty vintage hangers, which I've actually been looking for for a long time. So I snatched these up so fast. You don't even know. There's me literally throwing them into my cart in the last clip. Then I headed over to the jupe or skirts and I found this pink ditzy floral Aeropostale midi skirt. I didn't end up taking this because it wasn't quite vintage, but the print was really pretty, so I saved her for another baddie. Then I found this super cute Lady Dutch like baby doll top. I love the bow detail in the middle, and the fabric is so soft and flowy. Last thing, my mom actually found this super cute Y2K pink short sleeve top with this like fishnet hem. I love the color of this one. It is Monday. Today is Eclipse Day. I will try and get some like, sorry for my voice, I'm like getting sick, I think. I'll try and get some like <clears throat> videos of the eclipse. Probably won't show up on camera, but today we're going to Salvation Army and then we're gonna go to the river and watch the eclipse because we bought those like glasses from Amazon. And then we're going out for dinner. So, see you guys at Salvation Army. So we actually didn't go thrifting on this day just because I wasn't really feeling up to it. So we ended up going to Co Tommy Cafe in the morning. I got an iced chai as per usual. And then we split an almond croissant, which was not as good as the one from Crew Cafe, which was the cafe we went to the day before. After the cafe, we basically just like walked around Montreal and we ended up going into Notre Dame and doing not really a tour, but we just kind of like bought tickets and looked around. We did our like own tour um, just because I have actually been inside Notre Dame before in Montreal, but I just I haven't been in a while. So I wanted to go back and it was so beautiful. I filmed some clips for you guys if you've never been. It's 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 just it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. R.I.P. Ethel Kane. You would have loved Notre Dame in Montreal. So the next couple of clips are basically just montages that I took while we were walking around Old Montreal. Then we went to Tommy Cafe, the restaurant. They have two locations and I got a chai latte and I also got the Athena bowl, which is so good. <laughs> and I get the glasses. <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so it's currently 6.14. I have a dinner reservation at 7. The restaurant is literally downstairs. So I'm gonna redo my makeup because my makeup, I don't know, I just feel like redoing it. And yeah, it doesn't look that bad in real life to be honest, but it's not what I really want for this restaurant, if that makes sense. It's not really how, like it doesn't look that bad, but it is kind of, like I've, it's, it's been on all day, so I kind of just want to like freshen it up. So I'm gonna redo it. Yeah, today was just a chill day. I didn't do any thrifting because I didn't really feel like it, to be honest. And tomorrow's our last day, so we're going to go to Value Village because it's 30% off. We're also going to get some bagels to take home. Why did I say bagels like that? Bagels. 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 So we're going to get some croissants. I'm going to do my makeup off camera. Okay. I finished my makeup. We're about to leave. I put my hair up because my hair is oily. I need to have a shower, but this is my outfit. I'm just wearing a like pink fold over off the shoulder sweater that I got on Depop and then a black skirt. Hold on. It is like really bad. It also makes me look fucking humongous. Uh, this is my skirt. I actually feel very confident. I'm not gonna lie. What we're rocking with. We're gonna go to dinner. See you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, we got back from dinner. I didn't really film. I didn't film at all when we were at dinner because I just didn't bring my camera because I didn't think I needed to film in there. But I just washed my face. I had a shower and I changed into my PJs. I'm going to cuddle up in bed and watch some community, probably. Monday. Today we're going to Value Village and a couple bakeries to get some stuff before we leave. I'll do my makeup off camera because there's literally no way to put my camera because I'm a dumbass and forgot my tripod. Now we're gonna go. Today's our last day and then tomorrow we're going home. Okay, so I did my makeup. Just the makeup of the day. Same as normal. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. This is my outfit. Sorry, the lighting's like really dark, but I just am wearing my leather bomber because it's like the only jacket that I brought. I should have brought another one. Whatever. And then I'm wearing this like Paris BBT that I got from um, City Girl Vintage. Follow her on Instagram. And then I'm wearing this really pretty like fairy skirt with like bows and shit that I got on Depop. And shoes, I'm gonna um, wear my Steve Madden moto boots. I'm not wearing them right now, but I will be wearing them. So, so that's my outfit of the day. And we're gonna go get a bite to eat.
Okay, so first up, I found this really pretty black and pink floral embroidered 90s tie-back blouse. I love this top so much. Then I found this lace blouse as well. I didn't take this just because I wasn't really feeling it all too much. Um, but she's still cute. This one's pretty basic, just this basic little white cami. I needed just a top like this, so I took this one for myself. This really pretty red halter top and it laces up in the back, stunning. Also had like beaded embellishments on it too, which was really cute. This 90s slash early 2000s pleated mini skirt with this adorable bow ribbon detail. Yeah, I couldn't pass on this one. I didn't end up taking this skirt. I was just really on the fence about it. And I find that when I'm on the fence about something, I probably shouldn't get it. My logic, if it's not an immediate yes, it's probably a no. This baby blue linen La Senza cami, it has like floral sequin detailing around the cups. I love the color of this. This deep purple satin Le'Veon Rose slip dress, I love the black lace detailing throughout and how you can tie the front in a bow. So cute! My mom actually found these two purses and I took both of them because they are just chef's kiss. The guess one I'm actually keeping for myself uh, because I feel like I could style it really well. So. I always look at the housewares now because I've been looking for like antique and vintage stuff for my room. I found this candle holder. I didn't take it because I have a lot already, but it's really pretty. I love the pink roses on it. I found this 90s black midi skirt with this like beaded embellished design, but I didn't end up taking it. I headed over to the dresses and I found this red and black polka dot Le Chateau midi dress. It kind of reminded me of Betty Boop, so I took it. <laughs> These next two dresses I didn't end up taking. Um, this one, I don't think it was vintage, so I didn't take it. It was pretty, but I just didn't take it. And then this one, I think it was vintage, but there was just something about it that I didn't really like, so I didn't take it. <laughs> And then I found this really pretty like cobalt blue blouse. I'm keeping this for myself because this color looks really good with dark hair. And then I found this vintage nightstand, which I've been looking for a nightstand that looks like this. And I'm going to paint this white. And I think that's pretty close. So I took this. It is currently 10, 18. It's our last night. We're going home tomorrow morning. One more sleep, one more sleep, and then be back in my bed, which I'll be very happy about because this bed isn't that comfortable. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> this was me outside the Airbnb once we checked out, and this is us on the way to Aube Boulangerie, which is where we got the croissants. If you're in Montreal, you need to go to this bakery. Their almond croissants are the best almond croissants I've ever had in my life, and I've been to Paris. So, yeah. <laughs> we ended up stopping at the first value village that we went to in Montreal. And I'm so on the way back. And I'm so happy we did because I found so much cute stuff. Oh my gosh. Like this top. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This one as well. I'm obsessed with this. I think I might keep this for myself. I don't know if this color would look good on me though. I feel like it might. I'm going to try it. This gorgeous blue satin maxi slip dress was just absolutely stunning. The color, the lace, the silhouette. Yeah, you're coming home with me. Also has a tie back. Oh my days. Oh my days. This cutesy little mesh la vie on rose slip dress as well. Just so darling. Just so darling. Another little mess, mess? Mesh slip dress with the prettiest little pink lace bust and tie bow detail. I love it. I love brown and pink together. They just look so good together. So, you know, I had to take this Itam satin slip dress. Okay. This corset was really pretty and I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't get it because I love the colors in it. And the pattern's really pretty, but I didn't take it. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't know. I found this brown denim Simon Chang um uh, maxi skirt i love the hem on this as you know asymmetrical anything asymmetrical i love it so i took this home because it's so cute 
Also found this cute little denim. It is denim camo patterned little mini skirt as well. I thought this was very on trend right now, so I took it. I'm really sad about this skirt because I think it might have had a stain, but it was from, I think, 2001 Gap. And I'm so mad because I love the print. It's just, it had a stain, so I didn't take it. I did take this skirt though. I love this skirt. I love the like hem. It's just so pretty and it's very, it'll be very cute for summer, I think. So I took her. This dress, I almost fainted when I saw it. Like, look at how beautiful it is. The lace, the colors, the, just the ruffles, everything about it. I am obsessed. So I took it. I also took this dress too. I think it was just very like 90s sleigh. I also love the hem, asymmetrical. So I also took that one and I think it's silk. When I saw this dress, I immediately thought of my best friend, Brooke. Shout out, Brooke. Um, it's actually going to her. Um, I'm giving it to her because it would just look so fucking good on her. So I bought this for her. But it's just like, look at this. It's beautiful. Are you kidding? Oh my god. I also found this really pretty dress. It's like a paisley floral print. I love the colors in this. It's got like blue in it and I love the hem. I just love everything about it. It's so pretty. I think for like the fall, even the summer, oh, chef's kiss. So I was about ready to pack it up and leave and then I found this and I'm just obsessed. I love the like side, it like crisscrosses and the sashes. It's so gorgeous, like, oh my god. Also found these two tops. I didn't end up taking these. I also found these like when I was about to leave. Um, I didn't take these just because, I don't know, I just didn't. The first one was kind of bad quality, and this one's kind of dark, and we're entering summer and spring, so I was like, eh, I don't know if I'll take this. It is pretty, though, and I kind of wish I did take it, but whatever. Too late now. <laughs> and then a little montage of us on the way home. Yay. And we are home. <sighs> I'm so happy to be home. I I missed my bed. I missed my room. I just, I missed my house. Anyway, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if it was like really all over the place. And I'm also sorry that it took so long to get out. Um, basically, I posted on my community tab, but if you didn't see it, my MacBook, my old MacBook got water damage, so I had to get a new one. I was basically almost done editing this video on that old MacBook, and then it got water damage, so I had to get a new one and start from scratch editing-wise, so it took a little bit longer to get out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Like this video if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next one.